welcome to the National Food Conclave on Sustainable Food Systems. My name is Gauri Arora and we have uh, Dr. Shesh Kumar Goroshi from the Indian Meteorological Department joining us today, yeah. uh, talking about weather-based uh, advisories for farmers. Uh, how does the IMD's AgriMet division ensure uh, weather forecast and advisories uh, reach farmers in a timely and accurate manner? First of all, you know, this Indian Meteorological Department in collaboration with the various you know, state agriculture universities as well as the ICR centers and the NGOs as well as the two IITs. So, we uh, you know, prepare agromet advisory uh, bulletins on every Tuesday and Friday and further we disseminate it to the farmers through different channels. So, such as we have uh, integrated IMD services like you know, weather forecast, that block level weather forecast as well as the agromet advisory. to the state government IT portals like if any state has their own uh, mobile apps so in any state have their own farmer centric uh, portals so almost we have com completed this integration with the 21 states for few more states are there we are just you know taking you know, uh, follow up with them to integrate as uh, with them also and second is uh, we have a dedicated portals uh, like Panchayat Mosam Seva which was launched in 2024 so there, uh, you know, uh, this block level weather forecast will directly translate it into the text form in the regional language where farmers can directly access this forecast from their portal. Then third one is through WhatsApp, we have created a dedicated WhatsApp groups for the farmers. Through WhatsApp itself, so we are covering almost 2 crore farmers, that is 20 million farmers, we are covering only through the WhatsApp. So this forecast is going to farmers daily, this block level weather forecast. And third is through the public partnership, we have uh, some agencies like IPCO Kisan and Reliance Foundation. So through them we are covering almost uh, 10 million farmers. So daily this weather forecast and Tuesday and Friday this agreement advisory bulletins are going to tell many farmers through only uh, this public partnerships. So totally almost we are covering the more than 4.5 crore farmers. So daily we are sending weather forecast and as well as the uh, agro advisory bulletin every end, Tuesday and Friday. So this is what we are doing and one more, uh, the aim of this IMD is to cover at least 5 farmers from each village under this you know, GKMS so that uh, we'll cover the entire village like you know, 6.5 lakh villages are there. We are planning to cover at least 5 farmers from all those 6.5 uh, lakh villages. Mm -hmm. And this Panchayat Mosam say one more uh, no, uh, advantage is that. So daily whenever this weather forecast generates, so through API it is uh, you know, directly this information is going to Panchayat Mosam portal. From there again, that information is going to the, all the Panchayat members, ex-Panchayat members, present Panchayat members and to Panchayat wards to their mobile number, WhatsApp mobile numbers. From there they are disseminating to their village farmers. Mm -hmm. This is what uh, we are you know, uh, ensuring. Uh, the aim is to cover the maximum number of farmers. Uh, which will get benefited from this scheme so that they can reduce their you know, losses from this uh, extreme weather events. And so sir, I'm sure there would be a lot of challenges uh, that the IMD faces when it comes to disseminating uh, timely forecast and advisories to the farmers. So what are some of the challenges that uh, IMD has faced? Yeah. So it's a good question basically. Total, we have you know, more than 14 crore farmers are there in India. So if you see, more than 50% of the farmers has the basic feature mobiles. And 50% are using this you know, smartphone, so that, you know, they can use the WhatsApp. So there we are you know, covering maximum 2 crore farmers through only WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. So how to cover those you know, farmers who are using this basic set mobile farmers? One is to send the, this advisory and forecast to their mobiles. Whether they are educated, non-educated, that we have to see. And also sending this uh, you know, information is involved a little bit cost that who will bear that is an issue how much because we are sending this information daily so daily will be the uh, in case more than 50 per person 50 percent means it's like seven crore farmers seven crore farmers there, there will be a some cost then we are sending it to the 365 days that is one of the challenge how to cover this you know basic set mobile you know, farmers and second is the 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 information which we are providing so we provide the focus of the eight parameters for the next seven days in the regional language as well as the Hindi and English. Mm -hmm. So that has to be concise to the farmers in a few lines or few characters. 
So uh, that is the uh, biggest thing, uh, how much parameters to be given and how to concise this one. Uh -huh. Right. So and so what are some of the challenges that IMD thought of uh, to kind of counter these issues? Yeah, uh, just we are collaborating with the uh, many agencies uh, who are having you know, uh, this reach. So at the village levels, like uh, recently we had you know, MOE with the Ministry of Rural Development. So right. uh, they have a very huge you know, network of Krishi Sakis and Pashu Sakis. So we are sending uh, this weather forecast information to that Krishi Saki and Pashu Sakis. Mm -hmm. there, from there, they are transferring this information to their particular farmers in their rural areas. So public-private partnerships are kind yeah. of needed to yeah, kind need. of increase yes. the dissemination yes. to the farmers yes. at all levels. Yes, we have already started giving a training to this Krishi Saki and Pashu Sakis from each department. Department. So, we are involving the state coordinators and district coordinators. So, Something uh, uh, that is happening I think in Himachal now. Himachal we have done and we are mm -hmm. planning the MP and the Maharashtra as well. Right. So, initially we are planning to cover the 10 states. From there the same model will be implemented in the other states. Right. So, scaling up these partnerships yeah, yeah, and this collaboration. Partnership. Yes, yes. Right. And more, uh, one more thing is that Key, uh, recent initiative by the IMD in collaboration with the other agriculture departments is that earlier we were providing the location specific advisories for only crops. Uh, for livestock, poultry and fisheries, we were giving general advisories. But recently, IMD has a MOU with the DPR, that is the Director of Poultry Research in Nimedi, mm -hmm. where we are providing the weather forecast based pest and disease information one month advance in collaboration with the Nimedi. And third one, we had collaboration with the CIFA, Central Institute of Fishery, Inland Fisheries, which mm -hmm. is located in Bhuvaneshwar, we have a MOU. Mm -hmm. So, we have asked them to share the thresholds for different terms, fish species. They are also are trying to develop fish specific advisories. So, yeah, this will be uh, shared and also uh, just we have done a collaboration with the NDDB, National Dairy Development Board. So, where we are getting the different uh, milk breed specific weather parameters. So, we can develop a product related to those specific you know, uh, species, breeds. Then that information will be disseminated to reduce uh, milk losses and all due to the heat stress and cold stress and all. So, not just uh, private companies or civil societies, but inter-ministerial collaborations, yeah, yeah. Well, which is so, very important. Yes, yes. Uh, to leverage the all existing network. Existing network, we are doing that one. Right. And, uh, uh, and we have also uh, just doing the international collaborations is like, you know, we have, we have a collaboration with the UNDP mm -hmm. and we are planning to collaborate with the ILRI also, Indian International Livestock Research Institute. And we have uh, just planning to collaborate with CIMIT where they have developed a risk and vulnerability maps and exposure as well. Just you know, based on those uh, you know, commodity based advisories will be issued for you know, uh, this one, uh, different commodities. This one. Right. Thank you so much Dr. Gaurishi for taking out the time to answer some of our questions. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much you Dr. Gauri. Thank you so much for the opportunity.